Video one, removing your bow from its compartment in the violin case. Remember, your bow is very fragile. Now take a peek in your case. Every case is designed slightly differently. But the one thing they all have in common is that they have a clip that's near the frog of the bow, and that's the large rectangular black piece of wood at one end of the bow. And the other end, which is the most fragile of the bow, is called the tip. Most cases have something here, an extra little pocket called a tip protector. So when you remove your bow, first undo the clip that's holding your bow in its place, and then touch the bow right near the frog and on the stick, and carefully remove it out of the tip protector. And now you have it. Notice that you have your frog. This is a little screw down here. We're going to do that in the next video. I'm going to show you how to work that. You have your stick coming all the way down here to the tip, the point of the bow, again, the most fragile part. And of course, as most of you know, these bow hairs are made from the hairs of the tail of a horse. Remarkably, somebody figured out that these were the best ways, the best hairs for producing a great sound on your violin. Don't touch these bow hairs because even if you've just washed your hands, dirt and oils still accumulate and if you touch these bow hairs, you'll stop them, they'll prevent them from working properly, and you'll get a dead spot on your bow. <laughs> we don't want that. We want you to sound your best. I had a teacher once that said, fall in love with your sound. Follow these videos step by step. By the end, we are going to place this bow on the strings.